Hi seedlings, I hope you're all having a great time at home with your moms and dads and your grandmas and grandpas and your nannies. All of your teachers miss you very much and we hope that you got your craft packs today and had some time to look at those and maybe you've imagined a few things that you can do with the things that are inside and I wanted to invite you to my family room today so that I can show you a couple more things that you might like to do with one of the materials that's in the bag and that is the pony beads. They're the small plastic beads. We've used them in our class before and I have three ideas that might be fun for you. You can do whatever you'd like with them but I have uh, three ideas that I think that you might enjoy. So you'll need your pony beads, your pipe cleaners, your play-doh, and your string with the aglets. Remember we talked about this in school, the aglet is the hard part that you use to lay speeds. So the first project that you might want to do with your pony beads is just to simply lace them onto the string. You can put as many as you'd like or as few as you'd like and if you want you can also have a grown-up help you tie them and turn it into a necklace or a bracelet so that can be lots of fun another idea that you might really like would be to take your play-doh out of the container and you can ask mom and dad for a plate, or you can do this on the dining room table if they'll let you. And you can just smush your Play-Doh into a ball and put your pipe cleaner into the Play-Doh. And then you can put the pony beads on the pipe cleaner. The Play-Doh holds the pipe cleaner, and then you can take the pony beads on or off, and that's lots of fun. A third idea would be to take the Play-Doh again and sort of flatten it out like this and you can use your finger to push the beads into the Play-Doh. Once those are in the Play-Doh, if you want, you can pick up the dough and put it in a ball and now you have the beads hidden inside the dough and you can pick the beads out and put them into a little container that you can ask mom or dad for. So those are just three ideas. I hope that you find many more creative ideas and things that you can do with your pony beads and the other materials that are in the bag. I hope that I can um, see you on the computer soon, all of you, and you can show me some of the things that you've been doing with your materials and your craft things. Um, your teachers really miss you and we hope you're having fun. Goodbye.